When it comes to HTML5 video, nothing drives me crazier than realizing I need to have two formats for my video rather than an MP4. If I want my video to play in Firefox, I'm going to have to use a WebM file. Now the reason for this is that when the HTML5 video tag was developed, the browser manufacturers were left with the choice of which format to run. And Firefox, being all about open source, decided to go with the WebM format. Now to create a WebM file, you can actually do it within Firefox, and that's the purpose of this video. And to do that, what you do is you go to firefox.org and grab the plugin for Firefox. And once you've got the plugin installed, you come back and it tells you that Firefox is installed. And I want to make this WebM video, so all I do is click Make Web Video, and I'm going to choose the file. Now the file I'm going to use is this one. Let me just come over here. It's just a little waterfall. Now a couple of things about this, this file. It's not that big. Uh, you can see that from the window, if I go to the inspector, you can see that it's 720 by 404. The audio is currently in mono format, and that's fine. And the reason I want mono format is it's just this background, background audio. So I'm not too concerned about audio quality. So I'm going to come back to here and I'm going to select the file and the file is called River MP4. It's an MP4 file. Click open. And at this point of the game, if you just want to proceed, you can just click encode or if you're like me and want to have a little bit more control, click on advanced options. And you can see that you get all sorts of choice here. So I got WebM or AUG. Now AUG is for uh, uh, Opera if you're developing for it. So we're going to use the WebM format, and the size, of course, is 720 by 404. And the frame rate is going to be 30 frames per second. That's what it was recorded at. The aspect ratio is 69. And the bit rate, we'll take the bit rate to 3,500 kilobits per second. And I like high quality, so we'll go with the best quality we can get, and two-pass encoding. Two-pass encoding is a little bit more precise, and takes a little bit longer, but it gives you a better result. Now, when it comes to the audio, I want the quality to be a little bit higher than 3, so I'm going to take it up to about 7. I'm going to knock the channels back to mono. This will actually reduce the file size, and ditto with the uh, sample rate. And then I just click Encode. And I go back to my folder where the file is located. I click Save, and it encodes away. Now we'll pick this up when it finishes. Okay, we're coming up on the end of the encoding process here. We're just about 95% through. And when it finishes, you're going to get a little bit of a preview of the file that was just encoded. So here we go. And you can see there's the preview. And if I click the play button, I've got a WebM video. Now, what does a WebM file look like? Well, if I go back to my folder, there it is right there. And if you double click the uh, WebM file, especially if you've got Firefox, which you should, it will actually open up in Firefox. So there you go. There's how you can use a little plugin for Firefox called Firefog to create the WebM videos that are required by Firefox.